Hello everybody, I have a tutorial to share with you today. We are going to be making some block crayon holders using this beautiful felt from A Child's Dream and you can check the description box below for a link to that site and all of these beautiful colors. And this time I'm going to be making a crayon holder that only fits six block crayons and each of the pockets is going to be color coded with a different color felt to match the crayon that goes inside. So I'm using this crayon holder that I made recently as a guide and I just measured out the pockets and that way I can cut up a template using this piece of felt and then I can use that to cut all the pockets out of the different color felts. But first I get to choose the different colors for each of these crayons and once that's done then I can go ahead and cut each of those pockets. So I'm just lining it up to the corner of the felt and this is a great project to do with leftover pieces of felt this is really good for little remnant pieces and once all of those are cut up then I can just put it onto the larger piece of felt that's going to be the backing for this crayon holder just want to make sure that they all fit in place and they do and now I can pin each of those pockets in place before I sew it and now I'm going to be sewing this on my sewing machine and I'm going to end up using some metallic thread which isn't always a good choice when working uh, with felt. A metallic thread does tend to break quite a bit and I'm sewing each of these pockets trying to do it in one stitch so that I can rotate the foot of the of the sewing machine. I'm sorry I don't know all the correct terms but I'm just trying to rotate it by keeping the needle inside the felt and then I continue sewing. But my thread broke so many times that I ended up having to re-thread it multiple times and I didn't have much of my metallic thread left but I just wanted to show you the difference between these two this is the DMC brand and it has three filaments of thread kind of wo wo woven together and when I was done trimming off all of those extra pieces of thread I did use fray check to keep any of those little pieces from coming out I want to make sure that that thread did stay in place even though I did backstitch quite a bit of it it was just as a precaution so next I can go ahead and trim off the excess felt here because I didn't know exactly how much I was going to need so I kind of waited till my last step and then it folds over just enough to cover the crayons. I did want to add a little decoration here to the outside, a little butterfly. Sometimes this helps identify which crayon holder this belongs to if you have multiple crayon holders and multiple kids. So you can see more pictures and full directions on my website at pepperandpine.com.